Happy Wonderful Wednesday. Welcome back for another CGI problem with Miss Washington. I'm so happy you guys decided to join. So for this lesson today, you need a piece of paper and a pen or pencil. So make sure you gather your materials. I'll be reading the problem two times today. Make sure you're following along because I want 100% participation for CGI today. So hopefully you gather your materials. The problem says there are eight kids on the bus. Five kids got off the bus. How many kids are left on the bus? There are eight kids on the bus. Five kids got off the bus. How many kids are left on the bus? So what is the first thing you all think I should do? Right, I should circle or underline the important words or numbers in my problem. So the first number I'm going to circle today is the number eight. Because the number eight represents how many kids are on the bus. And then I'm going to circle the number five because that's how many kids got off the bus. And then I'm going to circle the word left because they're not asking how many are on the bus. Now they're asking how many are left after five kids got off the bus. So do you all think that we're going to be doing addition or subtraction today? That's right. We'll be doing subtraction today. Do you all think that there are going to be more or less than eight kids left on the bus? If you said less, you're correct. So now we need to go in and draw our picture. So the first thing I'm going to draw is eight kids. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now let's go back and make sure we have eight kids on our bus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm gonna put the number eight. And you all know I'm not a good drawer, but I tried today. So now we know that five kids got off the bus. So what should we do next, Kipsters? We should cross off five kids to represent the five that got off the bus. That's correct. So one, two, three, four, five. Now let's go back and make sure that we crossed off five kids. One, two, three, four, five. So now that we've crossed off five kids to represent the five that got off the bus, what should we do last to get our answer? That's correct. We should count how many kids we have left on the bus because the question says how many kids are left on the bus? So we have one, two, three. So let's just make sure. One, two, three. And I'm going to circle this. So how many kids do we have left on the bus? Three. That is correct. So now let's do our number census together. So we know we're going to start with eight. And then since we crossed off five kids, we know that we're doing subtraction. Good job. We subtracted how many kids? Five kids. So we're going to put minus five, which equals three. So now let's read our number sentence together. Eight minus five equals three. Now, can you all say it? Good job. Eight minus five equals three. Now let's go right in and do our number bond. So we know that we need three circles for our number bond. So we're going to do part, part, whole. So now what should I put in my whole? Perfect. We should put eight. Then what should I put in my parts? Five and our answer, which is three. Two parts make up a whole. We have five and three in our parts and an eight in our whole because we know that three kids were left on the bus. 
So good job, Kipsters, and I will see you all tomorrow.